hello everyone welcome to the new video so today video is basically the devops interview question so how i got this questions because right now in my organization my uh, i have been nominated to one of the project and uh, for the client interview you know uh, i am uh, getting calls from my project box uh, you know they are letting they are questioning me and everything so that they can see that how much i know according to the job description which has been given by my client once i am prepared for that they'll schedule a client interview so basically uh, today was uh, my uh, interview with uh, the project spark again so the questions that were asked to me i want i thought of sharing it with you so basically uh, i'll give all these question in description box too so that you can refer from there so the first question that he asked me was what was your role in your previous organization and what was the last task that you did okay so role basically see this question is almost asked everywhere so uh, basically i am good in scripting and all and i used to do scripting over there too in my previous organization so i mentioned that i have been doing scripting using powershell bash groovy and also after that um, i have been actively involved and created the pipeline scripts uh, also managing the infrastructure using terraform and you know creating the resources so uh, i have told all this so that in this thing i am little bit confident and if interviewer ask me anything i can able to answer uh you can also tell if you are good like if you are feeling confident that you are good in deploying the applications you have good knowledge of that uh, or if you are good at monitoring or something you can tell about that too if you are good in ansible you can tell about that too so this is what basically i tell whenever it has been asked that what are your roles and responsibilities i tell that i have been writing the pipeline scripts and the scripting like powershell groovy in bash and also like managing the infrastructure uh, using terraform or manually also uh, the aws services so this was my uh, like these are the my roles and responsibilities so uh, the video that i made uh, previous uh, you know uh, yesterday in that also there were many questions that please make a video on roles and responsibilities so i would suggest uh, you can take some idea about uh, from this answer too and also i'll make a separate video again no worries then uh, uh, then the question was how to know the exit status of a code in bash or in powershell how do you know it then how to run any command in background how do we do it then uh, the interviewer asked me to share the uh, you know screen and write any shell script syntax doesn't matter that much but how do you how are you using loops and all can you please explain it to me then uh, fourth was how you, you how you used to handle the production issues if you have troubleshooted any issue then uh, like how you used to do it and what was the steps that you were following then uh, next thing was that in which language uh, your application is written that you are using in uh, your last organization and how you used to deploy it like in a jar or if it because my was java application so how you used to deploy it like jar or var then uh, can you write the syntax of uh, writing the cmd and entry point in, in a docker file how do you write it then how you store credentials in jenkins i have explained that we can use credential plugin and then we can mention with uh, underscore uh, you know credential we can uh, we can refer the uh, credentials then um, do you have idea about like how to write in yaml or writing yaml file he was making sure that i have because 
actually uh, these interviews are also aligned according to the expectation of the clients so whatever they need they last questions around it okay so i think they needed something uh, for yaml or something so they were asking about it then they were like in kubernetes what is the command to check logs how will you check logs uh, without using kubectl exec how can you check logs then what are labels in kubernetes how to upgrade eks cluster then what is auto scaler in kubernetes what is cluster auto scaler what is horizontal pod auto scaler then what type of load balancers are there okay what is the difference between these load balancers that you have told what is data in terraform so data is basically uh, when you have already you know created uh, any uh, resource it it is there like aws secret manager and there is some secret store over there and we have to use that secret then we are creating the data okay that we have that we have discussed in our terraform video what is terraform.tf was in terraform like what is this file why is it basically used what is the use of this files because we can also store variables in variables.tf then why the terraform.tf what file is used then do you know how to import resource which is in terraform which is already created so he was not satisfied with terraform import command actually he needed that first of all we are writing the script for that resource in our main.tf then we are doing terraform import so this i i didn't get this but once one when he told i said yeah fine you have to first mention the resource uh, you know details in main.tf and then you have to run terraform import for that particular resource yeah so that's all question were asked to me and i hope uh, it is useful for you all so yeah that's all and yeah bye